Okay, well, before I let you go, Calla, um, in this crazy world of boxing, um, not only the WBSS, but you yourself are the beacon of, of the law. You're the independent man of boxing, so I want your advice on some bits and pieces that have been swirling yeah, around. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Calla, Devin Haney hit the headlines recently for some comments. Um, yeah. We've all heard them initially with Bernard Hopkins and Joe Calzaghe. Words to the effect of, I will never lose to a white boy. Just your thoughts on the comments. Well, I, I just, I, I turned the question around. What, what, would I, what would happen if I said that about a, uh, about a black person? I think it's, it's disgraceful. I think it's disgraceful. But he has come out and apologised. So I am also a believer of give, give the guy a second chance. He's a young kid, yeah? So, yeah, the, the comments, though, are they're, they're unexplainable. Anyone who tries to, I saw some people trying to say, yeah, but this is talk from the state. I don't give a shit where it's from. Right? If, if you, are, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot differentiate in racism, whether it's black against white, white against black, it's all bollocks. Right? So don't start with this white boy, you know, because... I'm not even going to say that. If you, if you just change the word white to black, it's, and, and, and someone said, if I said that in this interview, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's appalling. It's appalling. And it's, it's, um, I don't care if it's a sign of where he's from or whatever, or when people explain the age from the ghetto, and that's what they say in the ghetto. Listen, I've met enough people out the ghetto to know that it's, it's, just, it's just not on, man. You know, that it's just not on. But, but to be fair... He has apologised. I saw him, he, 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 one of those apologies where he didn't, you know. But I mean, imagine Billy Joe Saunders saying that. Imagine Billy Joe saying that. Right? Imagine. And sometimes with Billy Joe's rants, I'm saying, <laughs> wouldn't even surprise me. It's, sorry, Billy Joe. But, but, but imagine it. He'd be crucified, right? He'd be made to do community service. Where he'd have his, he, he wouldn't have his, 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 his uh, license suspended. You'd have his license torn up and thrown into the Atlantic, right? Yeah, he said. He, but for me, he's apologised. Young kid, it's it's a big yellow card. Can't happen again. And and it and it, and it should serve as a lesson to anyone. He said, banter before fights all great, right? But don't make colour an issue. That's the only. That's what I'd say, you know. But and and those people, I saw some comments. Please. Don't start with, yeah, but it's all right because it's this and that. It's not all right, mate. It's not, it's not all right. It's not all right. It's not all right to use that, right? Because if it's all right to use that, you open a big can of worms we don't want to be open. You know, we don't want to, we don't want to go back to those days. So let's, let's not open that can of worms. Leave it out, right? I mean, the B-Hot ones, um, you know, I've worked with B-Hot many times and, and it's a great guy. I think that was also, it was an explosion of a thing, but, it, but you know, one thing I would say about B.O.B. comes from a different generation. Um, not an excuse, not an apology for him, but also terrible words that he used at the time. Um, but this one is, you know, this one is uh, it's the one we're talking about. And for me, and, and, and just as bad as him is anyone who's saying, yeah, it's, well, I can sort of understand it, you know, uh, you know. See, that's why we ask you these a questions. That's a very clear answer. That's why we ask you. No sugar coating. Judge Keller has spoken. <laughs> Judge Keller, exactly. Do you know what we should do? We should make that a regular feature. Every time something like this happens, we get Judge Keller to yeah, sentence him. I will give you the God's honest truth. <laughs> I will speak for the people. Just final one before I let you go. Um, Deontay Wilder returned. Though. It's been the yes, first. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's, yeah, Judge Keller. Second case, Deontay yeah. Wilder recently um, resurfaced. Haven't heard an awful lot from him since the, the Tyson Fury rematch, which well, seems... That weird, the, the, the weird Twitter one he put out. He, he did a... He, and the granting. There was one really weird one. I think it was, was that that was the, yeah, so that was, I think that was the last time we'd heard oh, from yeah. him. Well, that was exactly. straight after the fight, yeah. But this one, so he's done a recent podcast where I think one or two comments have kind of raised a few eyebrows. I think words to the effect that he doesn't... At this moment, he doesn't recognise Fury as the WBC champion because Fury didn't beat the best version of him. I, I, I can only explain it. Judge Keller can only explain this one as 
temporary insanity. And that might be an effect from the punches. I don't know. I hope not, because everyone is a sport which is dangerous enough. But to be honest, I think it's just American talk. You know, that's my opinion. And that's nothing against my American friends, but you know, some American fighters, they like to talk. And, and that's what we, we live off as well. So great, talk, you know. And, and that third fight is a tough one to market, that's to be fair, to be totally fair. It's also a tough fight for Tyson. I think, you know, Wilder hasn't got bad overnight, not bad fighters, but still one of the best punchers out there. It's a tough fight. Um, but, <laughs> and let's be clear, right? Tyson won the first fight, right? By at least three, four rounds. Tyson obliterated him in the second fight by knockout and, you know, Caught him through the towel in. Um, totally correct decision. So he has been manhandled twice by Tyson Fury. That does not mean that he might not win the third fight. Yeah, I'm, you know, this is heavyweight boxing. Shot out of blue, you know, all possible. But the facts are, he's lost twice to this man. So, yeah, how he can't recognize him if he's taken his belt from him. For me, twice. I think that's a clear case. That does not mean he might not get it back. You know, this is boxing. It's exciting and it's and it's and it's great. And you know, I don't think so. But Tyson could go off and do a, a Ruiz and uh, you know buy a ranch in Mexico, drive fifty-five Rolls Royces, and and, and, and use Doritos as a post-workout, <laughs> and, um, and and Corona in the corner. Uh, Corona. Corona, the, the, the beer, yeah, the beer, before people start fucking about the beer. Um, you know, it still does exist. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I, I love a Corona. I love a Corona with a lime. So, but, but that can all happen. You know, that can all happen. You know, it, it, it's happened before. So, I don't see it with Tyson. Knowing Tyson, he's, he's very much on track at the moment. He's going through these very tough daily workouts with his wife, so he's in a good place. Um, I'm sure she'll make sure he's in a good place. And I don't see it happening. But he could. So he shouldn't talk so much. He should just say, I'm taking the fight. I respect you beating me. And I'm going to kick your ass. Right? That's what should be coming out of his mouth. And not, I don't see that he won the early. Mate, listen. Go and speak to someone, not one of your back clappers. Go to speak to someone who talks sense and knows about boxing. And he will explain why you lost the first fight and why you got obliterated in the second fight. So, the ruling is, from Judge Kelly is talking rubbish, move on, get into camp as soon as you can, stay safe and, and, and have a great third fight and then and, and try and turn it round. You know, that's, that, that would be my advice to Mr. Wilder right now. And is it, and, 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 and Wilder's a, actually a great guy, you know, when he's in. There are, unfortunately, when it comes to public talking, sometimes fighters are great characters and they just come over wrong. You know, and I, I think it, since the fight, it's, you know, they came out with this rambling one about uh, we will rise and I'm the king and uh, I don't know why, you know. All great. If you, that's for motivation. But don't put it out. You know, not when you've just been, had your pants pulled down. Right? You don't go and do that. So, <laughs> so I get the authenticity. I think that's great. But I think that was a bit, was a bit mistimed. And um, yeah, good luck and good health to him. Thank <laughs> you.